This video will show you how to find scholarly articles for your assignment. Let's start on the Mount Library's homepage. For best results, we recommend using Guides A to Z. This will show you a list of all of our library guides. Choose the subject that is best related to your assignment. In this example, I'm going to choose the Child and Youth Study Guide. The most frequently used databases for your subject are usually listed at the top of the guide. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Academic Search Premier, as you'll find it in most of the subject guides, and it's a good place to start your research. If you're off campus, you'll need to log in. The login is the same as your Moodle or My Mount login, but if you have any problems, please contact the library for assistance. Let's say your topic is the influence of media violence on teenagers. It's very tempting to enter the full topic in the uh, text bar the way that you would do in, uh, let's say, Google. Unfortunately, this approach does not work very well in the article databases. You can see we only got two results, and there has to be more on this topic. So let's hit the uh, back button. We'll clear this search. And instead, we'll break down into the main concepts. We want to put in violence in the first line, and then uh, media. And you can see the database is suggesting terms that you can use. And we can hit search. 406 results. You can see the huge change. Your results appear in the middle column, but before we look at those, let's take a closer look at the left column where there's some options that will really help you to get the best articles. Many assignments ask you to use scholarly peer review journals, so checking that box will remove all the non-scholarly newspaper and magazine articles. If you have hundreds of results, the subject filters can also be very useful. You can see that if you find one that's related to your topic, clicking on it will give you a smaller subset of results to explore that are on that specific aspect of the topic. When you're ready to return to the full set of results, you can just click on the X box to remove that filter. So let's take a look at the results. Clicking on the title will take you to a page with more information. Check the abstract as this is a good way of quickly checking how relevant this article will be to your assignment. If it is really relevant, it's also a good idea to check which subject terms were used. Searching for other articles with these subject terms will probably bring you other really good articles. If full text is available, there will be a link on the left column. Clicking on it will take you to the PDF full text. On this page, the right column gives you a number of tools to print, email, or save the article for further reading. If the PDF full text link is not available, click on the check for full text. This checks our collections to see if we have the article. Click on full text available to be taken to the journal. You may have to click on one or two more links to get to the actual full text of the article. Not all of the articles are available in full text. If you can't find it online, you should either look for another article in your result list, or if this one is a particularly good one, you can request it from another university library to be delivered to you by email. The login for the request form is the 14-digit barcode found on your Mount ID card. The password is the last four digits of your phone number. Please contact the library if you have any trouble logging in. 
It can take several days for the article to be located, scanned, and then emailed to you, so it pays to start your research early. It's always a good idea to run a couple of searches using the different terms that you've encountered while finding articles with your first search. This has been a quick introduction to finding journal articles. For further assistance, please contact the library. We'll be pleased to provide further assistance. Good luck with all your assignments.